What to do with Halloween? In Baldwin Park, it's an event that attracts hundreds of children from all over Orlando. But because of the coronavirus, many pushed the pause button. And now that cases are starting to climb, more have brought it to a screeching halt. My husband and I are Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne. And so they kind of depend on us every year to be Sharon and Ozzy. But Susie Knight says she can't let the kids down. The plan, toss candy from their porch. Now we've heard that some families are going to go so far as to put candy in a basket and lower it down from their second floor in a way to keep the spirit of Halloween alive. Will the kids show? Nobody knows. For those that do, we want to be able to give them plenty of candy. Why? Um, because it's nice and it's a tradition. A tradition that many health experts think families should pass on this year. It looks like they're ready to have a Halloween. And quite frankly, I don't see why not. But Dr. Todd Husty continues to say if everyone wears a mask and is careful, carry on. Go up to the door, step back, you know, ring the doorbell, step back, trick or treat and get close enough just to get your candy and, and back off. What about um, the candy itself? No, that there's such there's so little transmission from surfaces. Another holiday that we modify and adjust to celebrate in the age of COVID-19. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. And that